So, my name is Andrew Block. I'm a distinguished architect at Red Hat. I've been working in the SIG store community for quite some time, obviously Red Hat being one of the key members of the project. Um, I do a lot with open source, obviously being the kind of the lead of Helm in, um, integrations and efforts around SIG store, but I also am a Helm maintainer within the Helm project. So definitely if you're interested in more in Helm, Come swing by on Thursday at 11, I think it is, is we're going to have our Helm maintainer talk. So I definitely want to get as many people who are interested in Helm to swing on by. Um, and I do write a lot. I do like to share my knowledge with the community. Uh, I have two books that are coming out this year. One which just dropped about two weeks ago, which is the second edition of uh, Managing Kubernetes Resources with Helm. And then there's a new one coming out in December um, from Manning around Kubernetes Secrets Management. So. Some cool stuff if you're interested in either one of those topics. So, we know with SIG store, you know, signing, con signing in the container really is just the tip of the iceberg. There is an entire ecosystem for managing application delivery. There's everything from, oh my good, this is just one small, as you know, this is taken from the cloud native landscape. So, it's one small little component of the cloud native landscape. In there, near the top right, is Helm. Helm is what you would say is the canonical package manager of Kubernetes. Um, it's been a CNCF project uh, for a while. It joined the CNCF in the early days in 2016, and then in 2020 it finally graduated in, um, into graduated status. Um, it has an active developer community, 13,000 contributors, um, a lot of committers, and trust me, as being a maintainer, the flood never stops. It's just like, you know, the, the geyser just keep coming and coming and coming. That's good. It means it's a healthy community. The only problem is, obviously, you want to make sure to keep the community moving when you still have a limited number of resources. So, but if you're interested in Helm, want to join the project, or a great community, so definitely stop on by and, and, and do more on that side of things. All right, now the fun. For those of you who don't, who don't know Helm, how many here have never used Helm before? Okay, good. I can, go, I can go through some of the basics and I won't go, I won't bore everyone. So perfect. So Helm has a concept of charts. It's a set of templated resources and you combine those with value, which are parameters. You combine them using this Helm CLI and you get a release into, into Kubernetes. And a release can be anything, any Kubernetes resource. It can be just one config map or an entire um, application of deployments, stateful sets, Secrets, you know, you name it, can all be then created inside of a Kubernetes resource or a Kubernetes um, cluster. A Helm chart is composed of the following attributes or, or basically the following components. At the start, you have your chart.yaml file. This is going to be your metadata. What is the name of the chart? Are there any dependencies, any metadata that goes alongside it? because we can use certain pieces of metadata to provide rich information for certain user interfaces. Artifact Hub is one of them. It's an easy way to find all the different charts that might be out in the ecosystem. You can provide annotations in your chart.yaml file, and that can be populated in a nice user interface for users to take a look at. Uh, aside from that, you have your values.yaml file. These are the parameters, the specific in injections saying, okay, I may want two, in two instances or two replicas of my, of my um, chart. Or have, and then ha you have a templates folder, which is going to be all your different um, templated resources. It uses Golang templates uh, as the underlying language, and uh, as well as the Sprig um, module like a library to add in some special sauce. So you can have a number of reusable components for it in libraries. So, However, most important to why SIG store is important, you can sign Helm charts. Out of the box, there is a capability to sign Helm charts using GPG um, you know, encryption. There is a concept of a provenance file. It basically is a way that you can prove the identity for your Helm chart. It consists of three specific components. The first being just the output of the chart.yaml file, the SHA of the package Helm chart and the signature of the provenance file itself. And you use the Helm CLI to create, and pardon me, to sign the chart. You sign it using Helm package dash s sign. You specify the key you want to use, um, a key ring for GPG, as well as the chart itself. Simple, right? 
For those of you who do use Helm, how many of you are actually signing your charts? Perfect, that's what I thought. Not much. Uh, the adoption sucks. So why does, it, why does Six Store and Helm matter? Because, well, three reasons. One, Helm is very popular in the Kubernetes ecosystem. It is the de facto package manager for Kubernetes. Two, we want to support different ways of deploying Six Store resources. And well, number three, most importantly, we want to sign all the things, so might as well sign Helm charts too. So how do we integrate SigStore and Helm? First of all, we have a plugin, a Helm plugin that is. We have the Helm SigStore plugin, which, is, which allows us to take an existing Helm chart that had been signed out of the out of the box feature of Helm and upload that data to ReCore. So we can do all the great provenance and understand exactly and, and, and assert all the great things that basically falls into our existing ecosystem with SigStore, being able to look at, inspect whether the data is there and ensure that you know it has been managed appropriately. The three things get sent to the recourse server from the signed Helm chart. First is the public key that was used to sign the chart, the, the signature of the chart itself, the provenance file, and the hash of the chart. And it obviously provides that one additional level of verification as you're installing the chart to a Kubernetes cluster. And here's a typical workflow of how you would go ahead and make use of this plugin. First, you would just go ahead and create a chart. You would then sign the chart using the out-of-the-box capabilities. You'd upload the chart to ReCore using the Helm 6 store plugin. So Helm 6 store upload, point at the chart, done. If you want to go ahead and reverse it, verify it, you just use the Helm 6 store verify. And you can also search to see if the chart happens to be in record. Just say, hey, does this sign chart is it in record or not? And if you want to look at the nitty gritty of what actually gets stored in record, here is the output of what the Helm record entry looks like. How many of you have actually looked at what all the entries in record itself? Okay, pretty good. I actually expected less, so good. Also, new, somewhat newer is the GA availability of storing Helm charts itself in, record, in, um, in OCI artifacts, in OCI registries, as OCI artifacts. OCI is, artifacts are supported in most container registries. There are a few out there that do not support OCI artifacts. The big one, the big outlier right now is Docker Hub. One of these days, Docker Hub, one of these days, I promise. I've heard good things that it's coming very soon. Uh, by signing OCI artifacts using SIG stores capabilities, it's very familiar with signing container images. You just point it at an existing, and away it goes. And cosign can be used to sign and verify the contents. You can also go, instead of signing the package chart itself, or the published chart to an OCI artifact, you can just sign the blobs. Sign the package chart, you can sign the provenance file, one or the other, or both. And then you can, once again, you have two files, you can do whatever you want with it. We do the same thing when it comes to cosign. We sign the cosign blobs when we are going ahead and publishing the releases. How many of you have actually looked at the workflows in GitHub for how cosign is released? So that is, one, that is certainly one way that we're continuing to dog food more of our capabilities because as we do produce the, um, the um, various contents in SigStore, we are using many of the same capabilities. When, I, when we go ahead and we publish the um, Helm SigStore plugin, we're going ahead and publishing itself to ReCore. So dog fooding is great because you can find bugs, see where things are working and not working for different use cases. So the last component for how SigStore and Helm work inside the SigStore community is we have a set of Helm charts. Three areas that we focus on, number one, we have obviously want to enable the Kubernetes deployments of all SigStore resources. We want to be able to scaffold an entire SigStore ecosystem within a Kubernetes environment. And as I mentioned earlier, eat our own dog food. I can't tell you how many bugs I found and new enhancements have been created based on this dog fooding. I always love dog fooding because I found so many issues with my own technology because I think, oh, it works in this great use case. But then I try applying it somewhere else, not so much. So you're able to get a, a greater um, way of testing. 
The different components out there, we have all the different key components of SIGSTORE. We have a number of utilities as Helm charts, and we have an overarching scaffolding capability for you to stand up an entire SIGSTORE ecosystem. So looking ahead, we've talked about all the great things. Two areas that I say we want to go forward. We want to be able to uh, evolve the existing content in content creation. And we want to increase the adoption of SIGSTOR within the Helm community. That's one of the things I am very much interested in. How can we go ahead and get more interest in SIGSTOR within Helm? Because here's a problem. Helm only supports one way of signing charts, GPG. GPG sucks. It sucks. That's why our project exists. Let's go ahead and let's try to bring new ways of signing Helm charts. Sixor is not the only, the only one in, in the play, in, in play, but it can be one of the various options that can be used in Helm to sign content. So let's go ahead and let's try to make it happen. Let's work as a community, both Sixor and Helm, to come up with new ways of signing content. How do you get involved? We, have, we chat quite a bit on the Sigstor um, Slack channel and the Kubernetes channel. Uh, please come to our GitHub set of repositories. There's a Helm charts repository in Sigstor as well as the Helm Sigstor plugin. And then if you are interested in moving the conversation up to Helm to be able to sign additional me methods of content, please go ahead and contribute there. Thank you very much. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs>